what is 1 by infinity or is 1 by infinity equals to 0 you hear many people saying 1 by infinity is actually equals to 0 but before getting into this let's try to understand what is the number infinity infinity is not a number it's a kind of number we didn't define infinity yet so infinity is something which is very very massive very very big it's very very big if you understand if you try to understand a fraction here we have 1 by infinity if you replace infinity with let's say number 3 which is equals to 0 0.3333 and if you multiply 0 0.33 with the same number 3 you'll get the 1 here if you apply the same logic here 1 by infinity equals to 0 but do we get 0 into infinity equals to 1 do you agree with this statement but here is some paradox here 1 by infinity is not actually equals to 0 it is something which is very 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 small it is called as infinitesimal infinitesimal is the opposite of infinity infinitesimal is not exactly 0 but it's very 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 small 0 is something which is equals to nothingness but we want a number which is very 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 small and it is the epsilon which is the infinitesimal if you go to higher school we have the concept of limits where limit h tends to 0 1 by h limit h tends to infinity 1 by h equals to 0 in this case the limit is approaching towards infinity as the h value approach towards infinity that is a bigger and bigger number my value is tending towards zero this makes sense but directly we can't say that one by infinity is equals to zero and in fact one by infinity is equals to a number called as epsilon which is infinitesimal this is infinitesimal number we use the concept of infinitesimal in the calculus where we take the infant infinitesimal length like dx and we just integrate that so before going to say that 1 by infinity is equals to 0 just make sure that it is not equals to 0 it's something which is very very small 